pretend to get, get close, get close. So let's pretend it's early again and we haven't done it. What do you think they're around something in the weather? Well, I think it makes the fur on their bottom of their feet clump, so I don't think they're going to like that very much. So how, how does the weather affect their performance doing this? Well, I think that when the rabbits try to jump, if their feet are wet, they might slip and fall. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see what they do. What do you think that would affect them? Well, it definitely does affect them. They don't perform nearly as well as they have some days. But it's not like they don't perform at all. <laughs> yeah. It's like these little under the weather. <laughs> yeah. I should just ask if Tom must have some questions, because he's seen it now. So he'll, he'll ask whatever questions. Okay, well, when, when it's raining, do they like to, they like to keep their feet dry? What do they do? They lick them. And it's just more than to get the water off. Well, that's kind of like a hazard, I guess. Yeah, they don't really like water. So people who have seen the sport who don't know much about it, like what are they see walking on the So What are some of the weird comments you make? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've had people tell me that my dog walks funny, and... Um, just most people say it's weird and continue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On a personal basis, everyone always asks what he is. Like, they don't know if he's a rabbit or a guinea pig or... They have no idea. Not a lot of people have heard of lion heads. They're a fairly new breed. Lion heads? Lion heads. Um, so, uh, anyway, the, uh... But what are some of the weird comments people get when they see them doing the jumps and stuff like that? Um, well, they mostly think that it's just little dogs, and they don't think that a rabbit is smart enough to actually learn how to do this. So they think, oh, it's just a dumb bunny, just trying to do a trick. That's all. But? But they can actually do it. Like, they're really intelligent. We think of them as they're like tiny little dogs with long ears and better personalities. <laughs> <laughs> how do you mean better personalities? Well, and they can be funnier, and you don't have to take them outside every day hour or so to make them go to the bathroom. You can litter train them so they can just run in their house and go whatever they want. Well, it's just some more comparing of dogs with rabbits. Like, why are, you know, people think, oh, dogs are great. What do you guys say? Um, well, I have a dog and a rabbit, personally. I love them both equally, but I have to admit, he's a lot of fun to do this kind of thing with. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Like, I mean, this, you know what this reminds me of, and I guess you've heard this before, like, what goes on in Stampede every summer, right? Well, super dogs? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Well, actually, both Amanda and I have done canine agility. I have to say it's more fun with rabbits because not a lot of people have heard of them doing it. Yeah, like and when they're physically doing it and you're interacting with them and stuff, like why is it more fun than, than dogs? Because it's harder for, to train the rabbits to do it, I think. And I think it's nice that when people don't see something that you see every day or like on TV all the time, it's like, oh wow, there's something else you can do with a cute fuzzy thing. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys are almost like rabbit ambassadors, rabbit ambassadors, <laughs> or whatever you call it. What are the, the the people, the misconceptions people have about rabbits in general? They think the only way we can do it is just if we like toss them through the course. That's not true. You can train them to do it. I think a lot of people also think that rabbits are just cage pets that you can't really do much with because they're not really smart enough or affectionate enough to really get to know you. So, like, how how big could this get? I mean, could we have them super rabbits in the stampede or something? We could if people tried, but I think a lot of people just don't think they can do it. What do you think? Can you someday have the hundreds of people cheering on the super rabbits? I do. I think that because I mean, all it takes is a couple of people to start it up, and then it gets it grows on in other people, and they want to do it, and it'll get better. Like I guess one of the images people have of rabbits again, like you've seen these before, like the old uh, Bugs Bunny cartoons. Oh yeah. 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 How do you write these guys in Bugs Bunny? He looks nothing like <laughs> Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Well, but you know, for Bugs Bunny's personality is kind of like a wise guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's up that? Yeah. Well, well, just depends on their personality, I guess. Because I think Bugs Bunny's probably what do you think probably the most famous rabbit in the world. Yeah. Fenton yeah. Harvey. I think they do sorry. try to be funny though. <laughs> Because every now and then they'll just do something to make you look stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, they all do. They all have different personalities. Yeah. 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 What, what's this for Jerry, right? Yeah. What's Jerry's personality? Well, he has a habit of being lazy at some times. So he'll just sit there and do nothing when I'm trying to practice with him at home. 
they'll refuse to jump and he'll go lay down in the corner and just sit there. So, and then sometimes when he's really happy, he'll just popcorn all around the house and act like a funny little bunny. Funny like a guy working, Jerry gets the long time. <laughs> what about what are some of the weird things around us doing? So like going off and do instead of training with you, like what do they get distracted by? Um, well, they don't really get distracted by TV, but they do get distracted by, like, if there's any little kids by the course, they think, oh, kid, yay, affection. <laughs> yeah, when I have a cat at home, and when we're training him, he'll run after her, because they're, like, best friends, so he'll like to chase her around the house. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre, but his little friend. Well, yeah, what are, like, some of the weird things that, like, obviously these rabbits have a mind of their own, but you can't make them do this. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess it's really up to you. You have to kind of show them dominance, though, but not in a harmful way. What do you learn about yourself by trying to train rabbits to do this? You learn how much patience you have. <laughs> You've got to have a lot of patience when you're first starting out because um, they don't really get it right away. So, And you have to know that you're loving. Like, You have to have a lot of love and affection because, well... If you try to do like with dogs, like treats and stuff, they don't really go for that. You have to give them a lot of the love and look at jobs and stuff like that. Yeah, like what do you guys find? I mean, what are there treats that work for you? Well, he personally does not like treats. He doesn't even like carrots, so he's... Not even about carrots? Yeah, he, he's one of the few rabbits that does not eat carrots. So that's not going to work on no. So what do, you do to what do you do for rewards instead of treats? Well, you just pet them and... Love them up. They don't really like just getting treats and stuff. They like a more personal level of reward. Do they ever take off and try to escape? Um, I've never had that personally. Mm -hmm. How many last questions? Or anything you guys want to change better or something?